What's good, YouTube returning life gainers, Patreons of the Life Gains channel. You, Some of you all are very familiar with this setup. This is the Set TV setup, or also known as Set TV Now setup. And they are under assault by the World TV Movie Alliance, Guild, Cabal, Avengers of Movies, whatever the hell they're calling themselves. Because you would get quality content such as what you're seeing on the screen at a very affordable price. And we're going to talk about the ramifications of this lawsuit and why you should be cheering on set TV, even though I'm not really a pusher of them and I haven't been a fan of them. If you enjoy the content on this channel, go ahead, subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell so that you are down every time we drop a new Life Gains video. What do we do on this channel? help you make life gains, which is improving the quality of your life through finances, technology, and fitness. Also join me on Patreon. I do giveaways over there. We're trying to get those numbers up. And last thing we want you guys to do, if you are running these stream services, get yourself a IP Vanish VPN, and then also join me on Stardust. It's a free app, so that you can do movie reviews. You can let me know what you're doing. I do 30 second clips over there and I want you guys to do the same as well. So now let's jump into this video and talk about Set TV and why we want them to overcome this lawsuit. What's good YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything, the sexy as hell host. And what life gains are we bringing you today? Well, 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 the Alliance of Entertainment, whatever the hell they call themselves, have sued Netflix, I mean, have sued Set TV, and we need to sit on down and talk about this. But first, me put on my plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell so we can have a good discussion about what the hell is going on and what we hope is gonna happen. So. Some of y'all know about Set TV. They have been a player to cut the cord, give you a streaming services that basically give you all damn everything, cable channels, some on-demand services, all that good stuff. It's always been a question of if they're legal or if they're not legal. Well, in this article from GeekWire, they are being sued, and let me read this article, article for you. They are being sued by Amazon, Netflix, movie and TV studios, such as Disney, 20th Century Fox, Columbia Pictures, Universal, and Warner Brothers in court. It just happened this past Friday. Now, what does that mean for us folks as end users? Well, number one, let's talk about why was this thing started in the first place. This whole cut the cord streaming industry was started because some of these companies I just mentioned was screwing the hell out of us in live TV services. I mean, they was getting screwed more than Russian hookers were screwing Trump in the White House. That's how bad we was getting screwed. And so, as a way to cut price, as a way to have more alternatives, as a way to just save money, these type of companies popped up, these IPTV service streaming companies popped up. And the one question that they always try to tell you is that it's illegal for the streams. Well, I'm here to tell you, there's only one thing that I know of in America that is illegal to stream, and that's kitty porn. You, the end user, are not doing anything but watching something that's being streamed from a website. So you can deem that more as an ethical morality question. What some of these companies have been doing by having offshore servers that get you the content, that act probably is illegal. However, what you have done as the end user is not illegal. And with this lawsuit going on, it reminds me of Spotify. If you guys don't know anything about Spotify, that's a music service that started kind of around the Napster era when people was getting downloaded music piracy. And Spotify popped on the scene as a way to thwart that. So they would offer people free music with a, a premium program you could buy. And that kind of corralled the whole thing about downloading pirated music. And hopefully, if Set TV can get through this lawsuit unscathed, somehow survive, it might be the new trend for streaming services. You know, maybe you start out with a service that gives you some freebies, you pay for a premium service, and this will be the market trend. 
This lawsuit tells you guys the power you all have as well as the power of breaking up monopolies because these are some major players going after these guys. These are some of the industry hard hitters going after these guys and you know when you start to climb the ladder of success or you start to disrupt the marketplace, you're gonna have haters. And I'm not saying it's right or wrong. What I am saying is that consumers under a capitalistic system should not be squeezed play by little monopolies such as cable companies and what may have you. Capitalism is supposed to be levied by choice, by choice in the marketplace. That's how you do it. But we didn't have that until now. And now that you have those choices, you see companies going nuts. Here's the issue. Let me, let me take my shit off for this one. Streaming services ain't going nowhere. So if these major companies really want to do something, they're going to have to reduce their prices. If you really want to combat what has been going on, you're going to have to lower your prices. I mean, the cat's out the bag on this one. I'm not per se a fan of set TV. Y'all have never seen me really do hardly any videos for set TV. I've not re liked the reviews I read about set TV in terms of customer service not getting back to people. When things go crazy with their service, they don't get back to subscribers. That's why I haven't done videos on them. I recommend uh, Gears TV, Streams TV, Nitro TV, people that I know are taking care of folks. But I am wishing them well on this front because this will create another avenue that is good for the end user, you, the consumer. I'll link this um, website link in the description box so you guys can take a read at the thing at your own leisure. And I wanna know what you guys think is gonna happen with the future of streaming services. I don't think it's going anywhere, regardless of what happens to Set TV. But I wanna know what you guys think. Have you used Set TV? Were you satisfied with them? And have you used others and been satisfied with them? And what would you be willing to pay to the traditional companies that would satisfy your need for entertainment consumption. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Join me on my Patreon. Join me on Stardust. That's the app where I do movie reviews in 30 seconds. It's absolutely free. I would love to hear you guys reviews of certain movies so I can kind of tailor my content. So join that app. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.